Cruz Lee. Hi, I'm Cruz Lee. I'm here with um, Mick Alitsky. Um Mick, what were it like playing All Stars against me for England? Um, yeah, to be honest, coming up to that game, we had a bit of a thingy, didn't we? Because um, you and Matt Pryor played for All Stars, so um, yeah, we had a bit, bit of. Um, competitiveness going on but I knew if I needed a good carry I just had to pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Um, you're, you're a competitor aren't you so um, yeah we're good to play against you and um, unfortunately we didn't, you came out on the other side as a winner and uh, we just came up short but yeah, well, um, it was interesting but uh, I think we enjoyed it aren't we? Yeah, it's, it, it is always enjoyable I think playing against um, players that you play with at your club. That's probably the first time I've done it and then gone back to gone back to club level but Gailey were obviously playing in that game as well and it was nice to get one over on you boys. Uh, hopefully we'll be on the same side this year. What were your memories like from the England versus France game? Um, obviously we both played in that game together. Uh, what were your memories? What do you think went well? Um, what were the environment like? Yeah, well, um, there were a lot of emotions that week, I think, because it was my debut, um, first international debut, full cap, I got my first cap, so um, probably there were a bit more emotion than uh, I wanted to. Um, I should have probably just treated it as a, as, as a normal game in a way and then uh, just did my thing, but um, yeah, well, it was really big for me and um, it was uh, something I've been working towards for a while and, you know, to do it, to do it with um, with the lad, you know, with you, you've come with me through England nights, and we've gone to Papua New Guinea together, and you know, all over. So uh, yeah, you know, we, we've shared, we've shared that together. So it was really good, and um, yeah, it's it's t t remember. I don't really remember that much. I just remember getting the um, the game, the game itself. I don't really remember that much, but um, yeah, it's every time I I look at the shirt, and it kind of reminds me. Um, of, of how far we've come, really. Yeah. Um, obviously, for me, it was my first cap as well, playing for England. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was something that gave, gave me a taste for going, uh, you know, and getting more more England caps. The one thing that I can remember about that game was how hostile it was walking onto a pitch. Obviously, we played there before um, against Catalan, um, but it was a different field. Uh, the crowd were a little bit more on top of us. And to be fair to the... Um, the French team, they come out really enthusiastic and put, and put it on us straight away, didn't they? And uh, even though I'd played against most of them players, like I say, for Catalan or at club level, it did have a different feel about it um, in terms of the intensity. And you could tell it were a, it were a test match and they were going to do everything. It were a one-off game. Um, we were in their back, back garden. They were going to do everything they possibly could to win that game. And, and you could feel that. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, What's Wayne like as a coach? Yeah, I mean, with Wayne, you, you know what you're, what's expected of you, don't you? And uh, there's no, there's no uh, question marks or you know, there's no doubts about anything. You know what your job is, and you know what what's expected of you, and um, what your exact role is in the team. And um, you know you have to do that role well because if not, then you'll know about it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's, he's really good. Um, on the other, on the other hand, he's you know he's he's great. He's talked to and um, he always wants to help and develop develop um, you as a player. I think every time I spoke to him, he, um, I got I got a lot out of it. As in things that he wants me to improve on that maybe I have missed at club level. You know, yeah, a lot of stuff, small things get get picked up and um, that you know small things that improve my game massively. So uh, yeah, he's um, he's great. He's great to be involved with. I think um, for me, he's, I totally agree with what you're saying, really clear in what he wants from you. Um, it's easy to know what he wants, it's just hard to do it, obviously, consistent yeah. on a consistent basis. Um, I think what stands out for me with Wayne is uh, the patriotism, uh, how patriotic he is um, towards England and the way he talks and the passion he has um, for us in this World Cup and the, the way he speaks about um, you know, not not having a World Cup here, it might never it might never happen again um, for us as, as Englishmen, and I think that really shines through with him when he's speaking. At, uh, you know, and we get together at these gatherings and little bits like he's showing us video. Um, he's wanting us to get better from the clips that we've played through through the Super League games. Um, 
which is fantastic. And, and like Mick says, it's it's really good for us because come end of year when a World Cup does come around, we want, we know exactly what he wants from us. What are you going to do this year at club level to give yourself the best chance of being in that World Cup squad at end of year? I think, um, yeah, well, that's a, that's a that's a good question. I think it's like I said before, there's the little things that sometimes you don't really um, emphasize because week to week you think you know you talk about what the team needs to do, you know, uh, whether it's the tactics or you know where you're going to kick or what you're going to do or whether you're shifting or. Um, but I think I need to you know have a good look at my own game and the little things that we talk about, whether it's here or, you know, on um, on the video, on the apps that we that we get sent. It's, it's the little things that I need to make sure that I nail, whether, you know, it's a big Friday night game against Wigan or Saints. You know, I always need to know what my role is and um, just because it might be a bigger game doesn't mean I need to lift my game. My game needs to be up there every week and, uh, yeah, that's probably main thing to be consistent every week and um, and you know be you know be the best forward on the field. That's where I need to be. That's that's my ambition. You know, every week that that needs to be my thing. And um, if I want to make the the World Cup squad, yeah, um, yeah, for me, it's something that really stood out. It were, we had a meeting here. Um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago and um, he spoke about on video and when he was saying about never letting a play go by and ne never missing. Um, a play at club level, you can sometimes you can get away with missing the the odd play or not tying in or or not pushing with your mate on a play, um, you know, not taking your left step at marker and stuff like that. You can get away with, but he highlighted if you want to be in this um, World Cup squad, you cannot have a play off for us uh, at club level, even though nobody else is noticing it, he's noticing it, and and that can be the difference between winning a World Cup final and not. Um, and that really stuck with me and resonated with me that I've got to play absolutely every play that I'm involved in, um, whether the ball's near me or not. I'm doing something to help us win that game every every time the ball's in play. Um, and I think that's what you know that, that that's what I'm going to do. And I think the common denominator of anybody who's who's successful at, at a high level in any sport is how, how hard they train. Um, there's nobody really that that goes on to do. Um, great things and achieve uh, unbelievable feats without without putting in a lot of hard work and I think that's that's what I can control is, is the work that I put in um, and I'm going to try and work as hard as I possibly can uh, come come World Cup at end of year and if, if I get picked I'll, I'll have deserved it and if not then you know I, I can look back and say I've done everything I possibly could this year to to, uh, to play in a World Cup.